You're listening to the Goonies on MontcoRadio.com. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We are back. So we are trying to decide: uh, should we do the weekend wrap up now? Yes, do the weekend wrap up right now. Or we get into Deja's story because that is very oh interesting. <laughs> I, I'm telling you, that is that could be the topic, yo. That that was a mix of that. So basically, she was breaking down everything that happened with this uh, 55 year old guy who shot Don't give him 53, two years. 53 53 Don't give him year old guy who shot his who tried to shoot his shot or he did actually and uh we're doing a replay on his uh shot that he took because it did go in but he's straight blasting it me. was uh <laughs> i know like i'm scared <laughs> i want to be like call that a golden or something i don't know because deja like she she blocked it but then somehow the ball still went in yeah i don't know what that was that was like one of those shots that bumps on the rim you know like yeah. roll around around and then they're falling in <laughs> In his way, this summer. So, all right, Francois wants to uh, do the weekend wrap up. So let's get to it. Missed all the crazy gossip and news over the weekend. Well, don't worry, it's time for the weekend wrap up with Nas. All right, we have to. Uh, oh yeah, we definitely have to change it. I mean, unfortunately, Nas isn't with us anymore, but uh, we have to do. She's it. She's still alive. I mean, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I guess people do get that whole uh, not with us thing. And so, so um, Francois, do you want to do the weekend wrap up? Go ahead. Dang, I was trying to throw this on him. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see. Here. Meghan Markle. Forty-five million dollars. Forty-five million for dollar a wedding. wedding. Prince yes. Harry. Oh, you like that? Yes. Yo, you yo, like that. yo. And guess last week, I'm chilling at the crib. You know what I mean? I've been depressed a couple of times because I'm waiting for my show Suits, and I knew she's marrying a prince. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, this show is not gonna come back on. They just gonna cancel it. They ain't even gonna tell me nothing about it. No ending or anything. Thing. Yeah, and then I see suits come on. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, the show's still going on. So yeah. I don't know what, when did they film that part? Uh-huh. But dude kissed her and everything. Like that was his wife, and I'm like, you kissing a princess right now? Wait, she was in a movie? Uh, no, it's a show called Suits. She's in the show suits. called Suits. And the, then they shut the, that the down. Wife? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> she's I didn't know that. She's, she's an actress. Yeah. She's an actress. I never knew that. She was oh, in wow, she wow. was in suits before. Uh, Prince Henry Prince. definitely like a little flavor in his coffee. A little. Uh, I was like, he picked the right one there, boy. He's, <laughs> he's so stupid. A little flavor in his coffee. A little flavor in his coffee. Like a little coffee in his milk. <laughs> you mean? A little. Oh, coffee in his milk. Huh? No. No. Coffee in his milk. Will you put milk and coffee in coffee? He likes his coffee. What's he he's just, putting the milk in the coffee? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just m- we're messing up, destroying. Yeah, this is bad. Nah, this Never is mind. Not. Let's just chalk it. <laughs> so yeah, forty-five million dollars. So what do you spend forty-five million dollars on? That's all. That's it's, amazing. I wonder what this wedding's gonna oh, be. Man, what I do guess. you? That's like you could straight up buy a whole island. For that money, and then I don't know so much about invite yeah. every single person you know to the island. It has to and be the still food. And it still wouldn't hit forty five million. Yeah, but like you, that's the food. But then depending on how many people you invite, I know they charge per plate. And, and they're probably paying much. for press to be there. I mean, probably not. But wow, you know, that, like yeah. they would want that to be shown off. Yeah, yeah, that is. It's a lot of stuff going in. I don't. I still don't get forty five million. You could throw the whole entire Grammys event without spending forty five million dollars. Yeah, forty five million. Is a lot <laughs> that's of money. gonna be crazy. Yeah, but she made. She got him one, man. She. Definitely got him one. So shout out, <laughs> shout out to her. So who bit Beyonce has been a trending hashtag, and apparently <laughs> Tiffany Haddish has made this thing uh, very popular. It's funny, um, and apparently it's not. It's not like serious. Like I don't like. I personally, when I first heard it, I thought that Beyonce and this person who bit her was in a fight or something. I like know, that. right? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was something serious, but um, apparently the mystery woman that allegedly bit Beyonce on the chin, uh, joking around, was Sanaa Latham. So, and you don't believe that? 
How do you bite somebody on the chin? How do you get that close to Beyonce? That's what I want to know. I just don't get this. I don't know. Well, there's also this picture of Sinai listening to Beyonce. It's a really old picture. And, mm-hmm. like, they were really close like that. Like, she would look like she was about to bite her in that picture. Like, they just <laughs> look <laughs> like. So, who really knows? I just don't know. I just feel uh-huh. like. Well, I didn't believe. the thing that they got between them. Probably. Like, like we, we bite don't... each other on chin. But she... <laughs> like, that's their thing. Man, how do you get close to be friends with Beyonce to be able to bite it? Man. How do, you, how do you become friends like that? I, I mean, know. Beyonce wasn't always Beyonce. She had brought, you is. got friends from your life before you became, you know what I mean? Yeah, that is true. That is true. Would you like to be friends with Beyonce? Yeah, That right close? Now. Would you bite her? Uh, I would have to ask Jay first. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jay put a hit out on you. I ain't gonna <laughs> I ain't about disrespecting no man's wife. Yo, you said, what happened to Francois? I don't know. I don't man. know. I don't know man. Last thing we heard, he bit Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so uh, a question has been raised, which I think it was a good uh, question by Nas. Nas wants to know why can't black artists come together like white artists uh, do? What is that? And generally I don't... speaking, so. Uh, okay, so this is, um, of course, from Vlad. He says, over the past several years, uh, there uh, there have been um, constant ongoing controvert, uh, conversations between the legends and the new school of hip-hop about bringing... Uh, the wide, uh, bridging the widening gap and having the same longevity as the old school rock artists, which makes sense in a oh, way. Oh, the same longevity. The longevity coming together and, and all that stuff, mm-hmm. the longevity. So, um... What? That's two different whole subjects. Well, yeah, so he says, uh, today's game is as big as it gets. It seems like nobody's getting along, though. Uh, it's a big enough game to do what you do and let your talent speak for itself. This new cat over here says something bad about Pac. This old guy gets mad at the new guy. Um, or Nas ain't hip-hop, Migos in the future are hip-hop. Uh, Neil Diamond and Jack White have a concert coming up together, getting it done. He says white musicians have that freedom and are praised for coming together. More power to them, and I'm a fan of it. Why can't black artists do that and make it cool? We are all artists. Let's all evolve together. Walk with me. Walk through. Uh, okay, so, so I get it. It's like the new school hating on the old school, and that don't happen in in the rock world, I guess. And yeah, be like, and then, oh, the old school is awesome. Yeah, and in a way, I, would I say it's it's uh, a black or white thing? No, I would say. Yeah, that, I don't know where that came from. Yeah, I don't know if it's a black and white thing, but I know you. I I think he's putting in perspective of in general the rock, rock, uh, the. The rock genre, yeah, and it's a black and white country thing is because predominantly like, white. Because like pop and hip hop, like it's just really, really popular music where it happens. Because yeah. I feel like it happens in pop too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't really know what happens in that yeah. genre. But I will say with rap, it's it does it like it's beef. No other genre of music has beef. We now, don't know that. Do you listen to metal? True. Like you know what I mean? Like we don't really know. Yeah, that's a good point. Gospel artists might be going, I pray better than you. Like, you know, you just never know. <laughs> Country that music. is My true. That's a good point. Dance is better than y'all. <laughs> oh, you don't even know. Like, yeah, don't know. yeah. Or they just do it in a different way. Yeah, that is true. Because I can like there maybe there has been times where in the rock world there is beef and things like that. Not too sure. Not too sure. But that is the week in wrap up, and uh, you guys can call in at two and five six one nine seven three six. What y'all do over the weekend? With oh, we are going to go over. Well, I got hit by a car. I, oh. You didn't get hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> his, his parked car without him in it. it yes, got him yes, yes. Me and my car are the same. Um, <laughs> I didn't do too much. Deja, did you? I worked all weekend. I didn't do anything. Oh, okay, okay. And Francois. Um, I don't remember. Uh, we should get in because you have to leave at ten fifteen, right? Yeah. Or uh, yeah, you have to leave before that. I mean, okay, be so late. let's let's break this down. Podcast. Let's get to the. Let's so get to the. Hold on, hold on. We gotta warm uh, this thing up.